Flipping over to the example on the second page, we're given uh, some population data, the number of births per year in the province of Ontario, Canada for a 20 year period. And I've plotted the births uh, using an Excel spreadsheet and drawn this graph. And so what's on this axis is the number of births per year. And then on this axis is the number of years. And we're asked in A what are the dependent and independent variables. Now when you draw a graph, the independent variable is always on the horizontal axis, so that would be the number of the, the year. What's on the vertical axis is the dependent variable, so, and we say that the number of births per year depends on the year. So the independent variable is the year on this axis, and the dependent variable is the number of births per year. And if we want to use the word function here, we could say the number of births per year depends on the number of years. So that's why that's the dependent variable and that's why the number of years is the independent variable. Now in B we're asked what are the units for the rate of change? Well to get a slope calculation or rate of change calculation you take the unit on the vertical axis here which is number of births per year and you divide it by the unit on the independent axis. So we would take the number of births per year so that's the uh, unit on the vertical axis and divide it by the number of years what's on the horizontal axis. Now instead of saying births per year per year there's a simpler mathematical way to write that. We would take the number of births per year and you see the second year here is actually the same as a year over one. The denominator is actually one. So the way you divide rational expressions, because that's what this line means, it means division, is you multiply the first rate by the reciprocal of the second rate, which would be one over year. So notice in this product, we have births times one on top, so it would be a number of births per, and if I say year times year, that's the same as the number of years squared. So instead of saying year times year, it's year squared. So the units actually would be births per year squared. You can also say births per year per year, but it's a little shorter to say births per year squared. So the rate of change units would be births per year squared. If you say births per year per year, it probably gives a little more meaning to it because this is the number of births per year, 140,808 in 1988. And when we talk about how the number of births per year are changing, it means how that number of births per year is going up or going down, how fast, see that births per year is actually a rate, how fast that rate is actually changing. In C, we're asked to calculate the average rate from uh, 1988 to 1991. And so I'm going to draw a secant here. There's 1998 and there's 1991. And I, would, I could read from the graph what the births per year are for each of those. It's more accurate to use the numbers in the table. And so my uh, rate of change of births per time would be, and I would go 1991 was 152,065 births minus 140,808 for the uh, 1988 year and the uh, change in time or the change in number of years is the difference between 1991 and 1988. And so I would subtract this and divide it by 3. And if you divide it by 3 you get 3752 births per year squared which means that the number of births per year was increasing between those three years at an average of 3752 births per year. From 1994 to 2000, to calculate the, we're going to draw first of all the secant from uh, 1994 to the year 2000 and find the rate of change there. And so I would look in my table here, uh, the year 2000 is 127,741 and from 1994 it was 147,234 and we're dividing that by six years. So find the difference here divided by six and so uh, notice it's negative because it went down. So there's the average rate of change there was negative 3,249 births per year squared.
So that means that the number of births per year went down an average of 3,249 per year there. So notice the difference here. This has a positive slope because the number of births per year was increasing, and that's why that's a positive rate of change. This one slopes down towards the right, and hence there's a negative rate of change for that. Uh, that's an average rate of change. These are both average rates of change because they go between uh, two different years. Flipping over to the example on the uh, last page, in D it says calculate the instantaneous rate of change in 1989. So it's instantaneous because we're talking about at, at just one point in time in the year 1989. And so what I would do, 1989 would be about right here, straight up from 1989 and I draw a tangent at that point. And so to make this a little easier, I'll uh, try to show more accurately what the uh, uh, births are. So from 1999, 1990, it looks like around 156,000 or so. And uh, this would be, see that's 1989, so at that bottom of my secant line, I would, see I'm just trying to choose two points on that secant line that it's fairly convenient to read the number of births per year. And so uh, it looks like about 145,000 in 1988. So the change in the number of births over change in time. Would be. And so it's 156,000 minus 145,000 divided by, and uh, if, if we go between these two points, we're talking about a period of two years from 1988 to 1990. And so that's 11,000 divided by two, which is about 5,500 births per year squared. So at that point right there, notice how steep the graph is right here. The rate of change of births, they were increasing at a rate of about 5,500 births every year. So that's how fast the graph was increasing at that point. And E, it says draw a tangent at the year 2007. So 2007 is over here, uh, near the end of the graph. Notice that the tangent is actually pretty, it's not horizontal, but it's, it's not very steep at all. And we're going to calculate the instantaneous rate of change. So what I would do is um, I would locate a couple of points on here. And I'm going to use this point right here and this point right here and I'll draw in a little rate triangle so this point right here would be see that's about 2003 so the change in time is about seven years that's why I have a 7 in the bottom for change in time. And it's gone up about half of one of these. See, the, this goes vertically 5,000. So the rise there is about 2,500. And so 2,500 births is per year is all it increased there. As you divide that by 7, we get an average of about 30, 35, 357 births per year. It's increasing there. And F says, what is the answer from E uh, suggest about Ontario's birth rate in the year 2007? So notice that it's only rising very slowly. And we actually look at the data here. About 134,000, 135, 7, 136, a little over, 136,000. So notice that the number of births is increasing, but only slowly. And if the tangent there is, um, is increasing, but only slowly, it's not very steep, then that would mean that the birth rate in 2007 is fairly small, the increase in the birth rate. Uh, which suggests that Ontario's population due to births is growing but only very slowly at that time. And that's the end of the lesson.